Hello friends, this is Eileen from Avenidas, except I'm actually in my kitchen and I'm going to be making chili today. So I thought I would try and share my recipe and uh, see how this goes. This is a first. All right, so here are the ingredients that I use. Can you guess where I do my shopping? We've got... Um, tomatoes and tomato juice and some fire roasted. I got some green chilies, a couple of cans of red beans, a can of black beans. This is the food I use to substitute beef. Um, so this is a vegetarian chili and then actually also it's also vegan, meaning there's no animal products at all. It's all plant-based. Okay, so we've got black beans. I've got a couple of bell peppers, a great big onion. I'm going to use a little olive oil in my pan, and we'll go from there. Okay, looks like I'm actually able to set this up so that you guys can see my cutting boards. I've got my cutting board, very serious looking knife. I have another serious looking serrated knife, and the big fat onion. So what I like to do first... Sorry, my head's going to be out of the picture, which is just fine with me. But I like to cut off the ends. I think everybody knows how to do this. And then if you go like this, you're able to peel off that outside part of the onion. Um, here at my house, we compost everything. So all this stuff is going to go out in the backyard in a special pile, and it'll end up becoming dirt. So I don't feel so bad about cutting off, you know, a little extra piece of onion there. So this is the way I do it. Just cut down the middle and also down this way. I'm just going to show a little bit of this and then we'll cut to the next step. So anyway, after the onion, I'm going to cut up the bell peppers. I'll put a little oil into my uh, pot over there, which I'll introduce you to my pot because I've given my pot a name. And uh, that's just the way I am. I know some of you guys know me. I have nicknames for almost all of you. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's just the way I do things, try and make life a little bit more fun. Okay, so I've got half of the onion here. And I, again, as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this for a minute and uh, go over to the oven, excuse me, the stove area. There's my pan whose name is Big John. Anybody remember that song? Great Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. That's Big Bad John. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here's Big John. I've got a um, special little kind of a pot holder I put there. So we're going to open that up. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on, get some heat under there. Add a little olive oil, as I mentioned. Oh yeah, that's quite a bit actually. Anyway, that does help to add flavor, especially as we're not using animal products, you know, the fat that you would find in uh, ground beef. Okay, um, just a minute. Okay, hello again. I've got the onion over here in Big Bad John simmering. You might be able to hear that in the background. And I've cleaned up the peppers quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice these. I like things kind of chunky in my chili. Uh, so I won't be doing a lot of mincing, uh, but just kind of big chunks. So you'll see that right here. Uh, and I should let you know, of course, I wash my hands really well. I have a really sharp knife. I'm uh, being very careful, uh, not getting distracted, hopefully. All right. And a few more. I like to use colorful veggies. Uh, sometimes I have called this uh, calico chili just because of all the color. And this will all uh, cook down quite a bit. So these chunks uh, won't be quite as large as they uh, lose water in the cooking process. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna stop here and we will go over to Big Bad John and see how things are looking inside. Okay, here's my pile of veggies and I'll bring it over here to Big John. Let's see what's going on in there. Looking pretty good. Very blah though. We need to add some color in here. So here we go. Looking better already. All right, you might notice I added a new color. So that's the green chilies, mild green chilies, and they're just canned. Uh, from Trader Joe's. They have a little bit of a kick to them, um, but I think it, it really helps to add some interesting flavor. And when we don't eat chili uh, because we like it bland, do we? <laughs> All right, so, you know, if you wanted it more spicy, you could probably put two, two portions of the green chilies in there. All right, let me, I'm going to turn this up a little bit because it's kind of died down. It needs to be making a little bit of noise. That's how we know it's cooking. And I'll get ready to do the next portion. Hi, guys. Next thing I'm going to put in are the um, diced tomatoes. So I've got those open. I'm just going to dump them straight into the pot. And then I, this time, it's a little bit different than what I usually use. I am using some fire roasted um, tomatoes, which I've used in the past. They just, again, add a little bit of a kick and kind of a smoky flavor too. Okay, let's head over to Big John. Okay, so a little bit about the fake beef. Um, this is Trader Joe's brand, as I mentioned, but I think all the uh, chain supermarkets have their own brand. I know Safeway does. Um, I think Lucky's does too. So anyway, what this does is it's replacing beef or animal product in your meals. Um, but I have found that um, it's a little bland on its own. So I always use it with, you know, chili or uh, something that uh, has a lot of flavoring. And you can make tacos with this. And the taco seasoning really um, helps to spice it up too. So I'll show you the way this comes. Um, it's basically in a little plastic bag and it's all cooked already. You just have to open it up and dump it into your meal, whatever that is. Of course you have to heat it. And as I mentioned, it's best if um, you, know, you add some seasoning in there, but if you have a look at it, it just kind of looks like ground beef, but no fat. So that's the good thing. Okay, I'm gonna go dump this into Great Big John over there and we'll see how that changes things. Okay, so there's the beef inside our big pot of chili. I'm just gonna stir that around a little bit. I'm gonna let things simmer for a really long time. I'm probably gonna add the beans next. I think, but before I do that, um, because I have a lot of nice liquid here on top, I'll be putting some of those dried spices that I mentioned, the uh, pepper flakes and the chili powder and so forth, that that'll, this liquid will help to kind of dissolve that and uh, make it really good. All right, so far I like the color, perfect. Okay, so these are the dried spices I went ahead and put in here. I didn't measure anything. I'm not using a ton of any of this until after I taste. Um, so it's looking like this. You might be able to see the uh, pepper flakes on top. The chili powder is kind of dark and the cumin is sort of a light color. Anyway, I'm gonna stir this all in. We've got steam. All right. Okay, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that I like to rinse the beans. Anything that comes out of a can is gonna have salt in it, sodium, and um, you know, some of us need to watch our sodium, and even if you don't, if I'm gonna add sodium, I'll do it myself. Uh, so I'll be rinsing these two. These are the black beans. 
kidney beans are coming next and next you'll see me dumping the kidney beans all right ah, I look forward to that okay I backed off on my plan a little bit um, the one can of kidney beans seemed to be enough so I stopped there and uh, this is basically the finale I'm just gonna let this simmer I'll turn the heat down really low and um, yeah, I'll be tasting it in a little while, not quite yet, and then add accordingly. I also like to let my diners, whoever they are, add their own spices uh, while they're eating it. So, you know, if it needs more salt, it needs a little pepper. And I also uh, have a chili sauce that I use, uh, just keep at the table in a little bottle if they want to spice it up a little bit. All right, friends, thanks for hanging out in my kitchen with me for a bit. I've got just a teeny little taste here. And um, actually, it's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to be adding any other spices. I'm just gonna um, let it simmer over there for a while and have a really nice chili for dinner tonight. Thanks again, and keep um, checking out our YouTube channel. We have new things arriving there every few days. Okay, bye now.